This is when narcissists are most vulnerable. As difficult as it may be to believe, there are actually times when narcissists are vulnerable. And I've seen it only a few times in my own experiences. It can be very rare. It's more common with covert narcissists. But in those situations it isn't authentic. They will just resort to another form of manipulation to get their needs met. While with the full-blown MPD, it is not only real, but it can be a very shocking, powerful, and unexpected turn of events, which can be positive or negative, depending on whether or not it is in their favor. So yes, although it's quite rare, there are times when narcissists can be vulnerable. And knowing this can be very useful in negotiating with narcissists or getting them to comply with certain conditions or requests. So with that being said, here are four scenarios where narcissists may be vulnerable. One, disillusionment. Narcissists may seem well protected, as though they're preserved from harm. They're fixed, secured, stable, sheltered in safe hands, guarded or out of danger. They have a strong base. They're unfazed, they're immovable. They're unreactive, they're emotionless, they're unfeeling and unexpressive. They're just playing it cool. But that is actually when they're most vulnerable. It's when they're ready to snap at any moment or when they're about to leave their post. Because it's all a facade and if the right person or circumstances presented themselves to them, you would see a very different side to them. A side that you may have never seen before. As though you're dealing with a completely different person. Because they're usually so uptight. They're so tense and annoyed about something. So they're difficult to be with. But it's all an illusion. It's just something they're holding on to as a coping and defense mechanism to feelings of anticipated pain, disappointment and dissatisfaction because they feel like even if they abandon their position, they're not going to get what they want. So no matter how convincing or persuasive you may be, it may just make them even more mad. It may make them even more cold and distant as a way of them reinforcing their position of control. But there is a way to get them to open up. There's a way to get them to be vulnerable. For the covert narcissist, you just have to confirm that their thoughts, words and actions are correct. Because all they really want is your approval. As though they're worthy of existence. Which is why they want you to see them as special, unique and a catch. Because they don't really care about you. All they care about is what you think about them. And if you think of them in a positive way. They will open up and be vulnerable to you. While an overt narcissist desires something completely different. They desire admiration, arrogance and fantasies of unlimited power and success. So if a person can offer any of these things to them. You will see a different side to them. And it won't be like the covert narcissist. When they act reactive or submissive in an attempt to manipulate you. It's a very different experience when an overt narcissist is subjected to something outside of their control. 
something that they have no choice but to endure because that is the only time that you will see a vulnerable side to them but the covert narcissist will never be vulnerable you will never see an authentic side to them because there isn't one they will just resort to another form of manipulation to whatever suits the current environment or state of affairs whilst with someone who has full-blown MPD if their illusion is threatened it will cause a narcissistic injury and they may lash out at you but if they're disillusioned and their illusion is completely blown out of the water they will crumble right in front of your eyes they will fall to their knees and they will accept their defeat two when you overpower them when you are too intense for an overt narcissist when you overwhelm them when you defeat them by showing greater strength and power in that moment they are in awe of your accomplishment when they're attacking you and yet you go on and you hold them out or you hold them to it and you're ready to defend yourself they may not have seen anything like that before because most people usually back down against an overt narcissist they don't have the courage or strength to go head to head toe to toe but when you do that most often they will back down because although they may bark they won't normally bite it's just a front it's just to intimidate you it's all an illusion it's all fake everything is a show and it's intended to get a reaction and to keep you submissive three when they're playing the victim when the covert narcissist is playing the victim it's because when all else fails they see it as a source of power and it does give them power they use it to gain sympathy and to keep people at their beck and call but deep down they know they're not really victims they know that they're manipulating you they're opportunists they're exploiting a situation in order to get their emotional or material needs met which is why if you confront them on it or you call them out it will catch them off guard four when they're seducing you when they're trying to entice you into sexual activity when they're trying to attract you to a belief or into a course of action that is inadvisable or foolish when they are trying to do this they are vulnerable to rejection humiliation and ridicule because they're doing it to feed their ego and to meet their emotional needs it's inauthentic they're not doing it to uplift you which is why in these situations it's very easy to render their manipulation and seduction ineffective because it's not coming from a genuine place where they want to do something for you it's still all about them and anything that is all about them is characterized by disconnection by pure selfishness to gain something at your expense so they already know that what they're doing is wrong no matter how they may try to coordinate it which is why in these situations they are very vulnerable to criticism or an attack because they already know that they shouldn't be anywhere near you 
they know that they harbour bad intentions to where they may then experience this may because they're only thinking about themselves they're persuading you to disobedience or disloyalty they're leading you astray by false promises or future faking while knowing that they are not who they portray themselves to be Narcissists are most vulnerable when they are manipulating or deceiving their targets. When they're trying to get one over on you. And if something is not working for them, they will try something else. Usually the opposite of whatever they were doing before. Because if they continue on the path that is shown to be ineffective, it will trigger their low self-worth. And it will resurface their shame. Because their course of action is not suitable or in congruence with their environment. So they would feel like what they're doing is wrong. Which is why you would then see a different side to them. Because they always have to fit the environment that they're in. So that they can appear normal. Otherwise they would stick out and it would be obvious to everyone. They would be exposed. Which is detrimental, especially to a COVID narcissist. Because they're showcasing an inauthentic side to them. While the overt narcissist is usually not afraid to be themselves. And the reason for this clear contrast between the two is because covert narcissists know they can't get away with what they're doing. They know that most people would not support how they choose to conduct themselves and how they choose to behave around other people. While someone with full-blown MPD is confident that even if they're exposed to the world, very few people would judge them or hold them accountable for their actions. It's like they can't do anything wrong. So they have no reason to hide it. Because they have so many flying monkeys and enablers. So they feel invincible. They feel like they can say or do whatever they want, whatever they want. But even someone with full-blown MPD is not immune to disillusionment. Because there are times where they may be confronted by a higher power or with law enforcement. And then the illusion falls apart. Because even the overt narcissist is manipulating people. It's a false sense of arrogance and entitlement to compensate for deep insecurity. Which is why if they were ever brought to justice, they would crumble. But it is typically very rare for that to happen to someone with MPD. Usually everyone around them shares the same delusions because they can't sustain it without people to validate it. It's not real. While the covert narcissist may have few or no enablers, which is why they typically just play the victim. They may brag and boast about their accomplishments while also complaining about the world just can't recognize their greatness, which they see as a source of power. But both the overt and covert narcissist can actually adapt and adjust for a short period of time very easily. It just depends on the people around them and the environment that they're in. If you put them in a different environment, with different people. You would see a very different side to them. They persist in this way. Because they're being supported by other delusional people. And the more committed and devoted these other people are to the illusion. The more it drives the narcissist up to the far ends of the spectrum of their disorder. Because there's nothing to tell them otherwise. So all they can do is continue along their path to destruction. 
But again, if they were around different people, and if they were in a different environment, you would most definitely see a very different side of them. It would be like a completely different person. It still wouldn't be real. It would still just be another form of manipulation. But they would be on their P's and Q's. They would be well behaved and well mannered. It all depends on the people that they're around and the environment that they're in. That is what dictates which direction they're going with it. So believe it or not, but most of the narcissists you see in this world are actually being driven and supported by a large number of flying monkeys and enablers. And if you took those people out of the picture, you would see a very different side to them. They could actually be a decent person underneath all of that. But even then, it's just to suit the environment. It's whatever people will tolerate, or whatever is deemed to be normal and appropriate. Whatever is the usual, typical or expected standard. Because they have no identity of their own. They don't have their own beliefs, values or opinions. It's just whatever everyone else tells them to do. It's supported by other delusional people. Which is why it's impossible to reach them. It's like they're in another world. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.